you know, um, talking about like the different Dreamtime entities or something, because perhaps those who may be among us tonight for the first time and who have not yet become initiated into the mysteries of the first circle of the sevenfold ray may be wondering what is going to happen now. I will tell them, before proceeding to the mysteries, which are only for the initiate, it is of course necessary for the minds and souls of us all to become purged and to be made clean. I'm therefore going to ask anyone here who is not in tune with us to submit to a very simple process of control. Merely place him or herself under the guidance of the fourth circle. Is there anyone here tonight who would care? Perhaps you. In one of the posts, Kevin also like talks about I forgot one particular like Hopi uh, like Kachina uh, doll thing. I believe that's what he's talking about. But that's what it made me think about too because like when I was little, I have family like, my dad's from New, uh, New Mexico, and so we have family there. And then I also, my mom's side is, like, from Texas, and so we have side there. So every every summer, we would, like, go on a road trip and go through the Southwest. So, you know, like, I spend a lot of time in, like, the these Southwest, like, convenience stores, you know? Like, it's the roadside yeah. stuff. And then I would always look at these little, they were, like, tiny, tiny little things, the little Kachina dolls. And I would always look at them and, like, trip out on them. And I'll get them too, like, you know, like sometimes I'll be like, hey, can I have like a dollar? And then I'll get a couple of them. But um, that's what I was thinking about, like the Hopi uh, and and those, they have like this like whole like vast, um, different like trickster stuff, which would be interesting too to bring in um, and kind of like use that for like inspiration on like different versions of like Baku, you know? (laughs) Evolve it. <laughs> I did order an Apple pencil yesterday to uh, play around with some of those mandalas some more. Nice. Yeah, um, it, it barely started, but it's it's already kind of like growing. Like uh, earlier, his, his handles like Fractalizer. He made this like mandala um, animation like loop, huh. which was pretty cool. And like the center was like a negative space, so it'd be kind of like interesting to put like different things in the center of there. Yeah, anyways, but yeah, <laughs> no, no, those are cool. I was thinking of graffiti mm-hmm. and flowers, oh. like graffiti flowers, yeah. basically like ornate mind maps, but in that spray painted uh, stencil style. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that could be a, a really interesting direction. That mm-hmm. I'm always curious about content. Like, um, I just posted a drawing in Mandela Narrative, the channel on Imagine yeah. Station. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, it, it's, um, it's, it's the turtle things, <laughs> just uh, not literate, not literal. Mm-hmm. You know, with, when you were talking about like the the flowers and um, the graffiti, I have this these really cool. Um, uh, one of them is I forgot what it's called. It's like the fifth sun or something like that. But there are these Aztec uh, codex with like uh, these poems that go along with kind of like how to read the the thing i think i showed it to you once but anyways there's this one scene. yeah it sounds familiar yeah there's this one scene and it's pretty big it's like two tablets and it's like kind of like outer space is like the background and there's like this main <laughs> entity that's like like laying down and there's like all these things like kind of like spurring out of him and there's things like swirling around him but there's these vines with these flowers that are like going, coming out of them um, and then there's like these like koi fish too there for some reason, which I always thought were interesting. <laughs> you know what? I and I I should look into it, but I think over time I'll I'll figure it out. But in in that particular one, and and I've seen it in other Mayan ones, there's something that looks exactly like a pokeball. <laughs> it's exactly like it. And uh, uh, and then you know later too. Um, so Baku is is. It? Hey, that Pokeball, you know, that's a, that's like an alternative symbol that I used in the um, 
Soto system. Oh yeah. For the Matrix. Yeah, that's a uh, that's fortuitous. Yeah. So you know, it's kind of interesting about that. But yeah. Anyways. I remember seeing like um, UFO depictions okay. in South American. Um, Ayahuasca associated okay. art strains. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really weird.